From the United States point of view, um, the fact that there was an, an, an exercise, an electoral exercise, has some positive dimensions to it. The fact that Aung San Suu Kyi was released from prison is obviously a positive step. But we do not want people around the world to lose sight of the fact that Burma has a long way to go in terms of meeting international standards with respect to human rights. And we hope that the process today registered that message. If I were to leave you with one thought about what I hope the Universal Periodic Review for Burma will result in, it would be the four recommended areas for improvement that the United States conveyed this morning. The first of which is the immediate release of all political prisoners who remain behind in jail. The second is to immediately remedy all human rights violations and violations of international human rights law that are a matter of practice in Burma. The third is to immediately end violence and discrimination against ethnic and religious minorities, which is widespread and a very severe problem. And last and very importantly is to recognize the National League for Democracy and to uh, restore its uh, status as a legitimate party and to open dialogue on national reconciliation with all democratic and all ethnic parties in the country going forward.